rebooting. Keep this close.
a smash. I'll be fine. that we have a visitor. It's a huge finch! Excuse me, I am not a finch. I am a teapot spirit, and you may call me... Um, hang on a moment. What am I supposed to be called again? Oh, call me... I suppose you may call me... Tubby. So you're the little helper, Madam Ping mentioned? Madam Ping? Oh, you must mean Ping. Yes, she did summon me here. She told me much about you. You may leave all matters regarding the upkeep of this realm to me. Your journey may be far from over. But at least this way, you will not want for a comfortable place to sleep each night. 
Though it is the Adepti who create realms such as this, they generally do not have the time of day to attend to the banal matter of their maintenance. Thus, we Teapot Spirits were created to help guard their realms and manage their affairs. You may consider me a butler, if you will. Now, allow me to explain this realm to you. Have you any blueprints on you? Specifically, blueprints with beautiful rooms, chairs, and the like. As long as you have a blueprint, you can refashion this realm however you please. Blueprints? Oh, that's right! Granny handed us some when she gave us the teapot, didn't she? Let's take them out and have a look! Yes, these are the blueprints I'm talking about. Go on, open them up. Just commit the image of the objects to memory and prepare the necessary materials. Then simply release the thought from your mind and the object in the blueprint shall appear within this teapot. Wow, is that all it takes? Then we could build a whole city inside, couldn't we? Mm, I doubt it. A golden-eyed adeptus explained this to me at some point in the past. He said that even though subspace creation is a product of adeptal power, even that has its limits. This world is not a true one, after all. It provides merely a moment of brief respite from the mortal realm, not a means of escaping it entirely. A golden-eyed adeptus? Paimon wonders, who could that be? I hardly remember myself. What's more, I have never seen that Adeptus again since. Well, let's not dwell on that. Have a look around. Best you get accustomed to this realm. If there's anything you would like to ask, just look for me. <laughs>
Thanks to you, my research is progressing smoothly. Oh, uh... Please don't worry about me. As long as there's a dedicated laboratory, I am more than satisfied. Your home far exceeds my needs. Oh, um... I'd feel guilty to trouble you. But I greatly appreciate your kindness. It means a lot. Maybe you are not used to the place at the moment, but once you've materialized enough rooms and furniture through subspace creation, it will feel just like home. If you ever have any questions about the realm within, you may ask me. The one before you is known as Jade Seeker. One travels far and wide seeking not but to witness all of the treasures this world has to offer. Ah, encounters with fine treasures cannot be forced. This is something that only fate may decide.
You've got it! You've got it! Woo! That was a tough fight!
Victory is almost ours!
outer sea depths. Ah, oh, what an excellent specimen.
<laughs> yeah, you nearly got him! Whoa, nice catch! As you wish.
Yeah. A single sword is more than enough. Snowfall on this scale is no impediment. Yeah! 
Answer from this world? Answer from this world? Huh. 
见。
Something's come up. Oh!
Another test subject. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. Keep this close. Keep this close. Nowhere to hide. 
Best give it a spring cleaning.
Huh? <sighs> 